काजिया मजली जा रहा है तो अंडर लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म प्रॉब्लम्स अंडर लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक फर्स्ट आई स्टार्टेड विथ इंपल्स यूनिट स्टेप एंड ऑल दो सिग्नल्स ऑलरेडी वी कवर्ड एंड वाइल डिराइविंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रीजन ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट आई स्टार्टेड विथ कॉजल सिग्नल देन एंटी कॉजल सिग्नल then combination of two causal now we are going to see combination of two anti causal signals next one causal plus anti causal signal what is mean by causal signal actually which exist only in the first quadrant that means only for positive time values anti causal signal means which exist only for negative time values causal plus causal sum of two causal signals anti causal sum of two Anti causal, negative sided signals. The other name for causal signals are positive sided signals or right sided signals. Okay. Similarly, the other name for anti causal signals here is negative sided signals or left sided signals. Okay. Next. So, in case of causal signals, what is the ROC? It is greater than pole value. Similarly, for anti causal signals, what is ROC? Less than pole value. and when the signal is combination of two causal signals what was the roc greater than maximum of all the poles isn't it so these are the concepts we covered till now i think so far isn't it please giving anyone response so that i can go for next combination anti causal yes yes ma'am okay now take one example for combination of two anti causal signals please write the problem next problem whatever may be the number find the laplace transform of the signal x of t equal to x of t equal to let us take the sum of the two anti causal signals minus e power minus 3t u of minus t minus e power minus 2t u of Minus t, okay. Minus e power minus three t u of minus t minus e power minus two t u of minus t. Now let us try to solve this problem. So here the signal is sum of two anti-causal signals. So we have to find the Laplace transform of this signal. Laplace transform of x of t. What is the formula we have? X of s minus infinity to infinity yeah. signal. Multiplied with e. What happened, ma? This is the formula what we have. So already we have calculated because here the sum of two anti-causal signals. We can proceed with this standard Laplace transform formula. Otherwise, directly we can use linearity property. As of now, I mean we have not yet started linearity shifting properties and all. <coughs> But we can use those formulas here also because that is a general. a uh, property like in case of fourier transform also so already we have that minus e power minus at u of minus t what is the fourier uh, laplace transform of this one this function what is the laplace transform ah uh, then what is the what is the roc of this real part of s is less than minus a isn't it so here what is the first signal we have minus e power minus 3t u of minus t what is its laplace transform then 1 by s plus 3 real part of s is less than minus 3 similarly minus e power minus 2t u of minus t what is its laplace transform 1 by S plus two, real part of S is less than minus two. So here, Laplace transform of the given signal. I am writing total signal minus e power minus three t 
u of minus t plus the second signal minus e power minus 2t u of minus t. It is nothing but sum of Laplace transform of two corresponding signals. I am using linearity property. We can also go for a integration formula also, no problem. Depending on weightage, you have to write in the exam. Okay. Now tell me what is the Laplace transform of this? 1 by S plus 3. Plus Laplace transform of this is 1 by S plus 3. But what is the corresponding ROC for this function? Real part of S is less than minus 3. And for this function, real part of S is ROC is important in case of Laplace transform. Once again, I'm saying this point, Laplace transform concept is very, very important because in the next semester, one complete subject is there based on this single chapter in the second year, second semester. That is Laplace transforms and numerical methods. Not only for that particular subject, even later on control system subject also completely using application of your Laplace transforms there, control system subject. And continuation digital signal processing Z transform will be there. Next level, Laplace transform after that Z transform. Okay, important concept, Laplace transform. So ROCs are important. Real part of S less than minus 3, real part of S is less than minus 2. Now, two conditions are there on ROCs. So let us try to plot the ROC in the S plane. And if there is any common ROC, then only Laplace transform will be existing. If there is no common ROC means Laplace transform is not existing. That is the conclusion here. If you have any doubt, please unmute and you can ask, but don't disturb the class. Okay. So here X of S, nothing but Laplace transform of given signal X of T. Okay. What we got? 1 by S plus 3 plus 1 by S plus 2. And... Uh, Two restrictions are there. Real part of S is less than minus 3 and real part of S. It is nothing but less than minus 2. Now, what is the function we have here? S plus 2 into S plus 3. What is the numerator? 2S plus 5. And same. Real part of S is less than. See here, minus 3 is the one pole. And what is the other pole we have? Less than minus two. Minus. Yes. So this Laplace transform will be convert. I mean, this is existing. That means this is valid Laplace transform for the given function. If there is common ROC, so that we have to observe only on S plane. Now try to plot ROC on S plane. How many poles are there here? Minus 2 and minus 3. These are the pole values. Okay. So minus 2, one pole and minus 3 is the other pole. Even if you want 0 also, you can represent. What is the 0 value here? But actually zeros are not having that much importance because system stability as well as ROC, everything is dependent on poles only. Okay. So to make this sort of S domain functions, we need zeros and poles. That means if poles and zero values are given, we can frame this kind of functions. That's it, okay? But while analyzing the system stability concept, ROC and inverse Laplace transform, we need only pole values, okay? So here, now try to sketch region of convergence. Here one pole is there, here one, pole, one more pole is there. Now, what is the first ROC we have? Less than minus 3. Less than minus 3 means this side. Next, what is the ROC we have? Real part of S is less than minus 2. Minus 2 means complete from this. Now tell me where is the common ROC? Is there any common ROC is there or not? Minus 3. This is our common ROC. So 
so here laplace transform is existing because there is a common region of convergence that is and what is a common roc we got here finally x of s p equal to 2s plus 5 by s plus 2 into s plus 3 and what is the region of convergence real part of s is less than minus 3 Isn't it less than minus three? Is the common ROC what we have? So this is the final answer for this problem. Real part of S is less than minus three. Now, what is the generalized conclusion from this? Less than minus three means in terms of poles. What is the ROC? If the signal is a combination of two anti-causal signals, any conclusion to derive the properties of ROC? Like in case of sum of two causal signals, the ROC was maximum of pole values. Now, if the signal is sum of two anti-causal minimum of two minimum of two poles, write on that note. If your signal is a combination of combination of two anti-causal, two may be there or three may be there. Whatever may be the number of anti-causal signals have been given here, left-sided signals. ROC is minimum of all the pole values. Okay, combination of two anti-causal signals, then the ROC is ROC is less than minimum of two anti-causal signals means only two poles will be there. N number of means n number of all the pole values we have to take whatever minimum value is there that is our common ROC. Okay, and what is the zero for this value? Two s plus phi equal to zero means s equal to minus phi by two. Means minus two point five. That is zero. We represent it using zero circle in the S plane. So, then to make the stability, we eat. nothing is no no use is there related to zero. Just to we can frame the S domain functions, we can using zeros and poles. But poles are having lot of importance. Clear? So, if your signal is combination of two anti-causal signals, then the ROC is Less than minimum of all the pole values. Hope you have copied this. I'm erasing the content on the board. So causal, anti-causal, sum of two causal, sum of anti-causal. Now let us go for causal plus anti-causal. Positive sided signal, negative sided, or left sided plus right sided signal. Nothing but non-causal. Okay. So let us take that problem. Next to problem, find Laplace transform of the signal x of t equal to x of t equal to t power minus a t into u of t minus t power minus b t into u of Minus two. Okay. So you can observe here. This is causal and this is anti-causal, which forms non-causal. Signal is existing both in positive values of time as well as negative values of time, isn't it? So that is nothing but non-causal. Now let us try to solve this problem. So here instead of uh, two three numbers, general constants I have taken a and b. Because to derive the generalized property ROC, okay. Solution. Laplace transform of x of t. What is the formula we have? X of t into e power minus s t dt. Okay. X of t in place of x of t. What I have to write? Entire signal. If you don't focus now on Laplace transform related problems and content, as well as Z transform also. Later on, you don't understand the continuation subjects. Minus e power minus b t u of minus t. Here minus is not there. No, this is this minus is not there. Into e power minus s t d. Okay. 
now let us split this split the integrations e power minus a t u of t e power minus s t d t already we have solved this problem actually again i am writing one more time minus e power minus d t u of minus t e power minus s t d t clear so here what i have to write zero to infinity e power minus of s plus a t d t okay next plus u of minus t is there means limits i have to take from minus infinity to zero minus of s plus b t d t okay so already we have solved this what is the integration of this e power minus s plus a into t d t we completed these problems right 1 by s plus a 1 by s plus a 1 by s plus a plus even second integration value is nothing but 1 by s plus b but what is the restriction that this integration first integration is existing i mean this is 1 by s plus a only if only if s plus a is greater than 0 and similarly here also t equal to minus infinity means minus of minus infinity will become plus infinity isn't it upper limit if i substitute plus infinity so that's why here s plus b must be less than 0 id negative aithene e power minus infinity we will get then that it is zero and integration value will be 1 by s plus b when upper limit zero if you substitute clear this integration value is 1 by s plus a if this s plus a is a positive quantity similarly this integration value is 1 by s plus b if this exponent s plus b must be a negative number if this is negative means here negative and t is also minus infinity minus into minus infinity plus infinity plus infinity minus e power minus infinity you will get and this infinity will be eliminated upper limit zero value is 1 so this again and again i am repeating please this is not only the twist in solving the integrations of laplace transform problems try to understand that so what is the restrictions here we have real part of s see here what is the first condition we have greater than minus a and next the related to this one real part of s is less than less than minus, minus b, b. directly here also i can go for linearity property just to, to make you understand and uh, like uh, revising that uh, related upper limit lower limit concept i am using this integration formula for finding laplace transform linearity property here also we can use okay so real part of s less than minus b now solve this uh, expression what is the denominator term s plus a into s plus b and in the numerator 2s plus a plus b i think okay and if there is common roc then only this laplace transform is existing it is valid if there is no common roc means this is not valid laplace transform that we have to check now okay up to this you have copied and think i am erasing this side now let us try to plot it in s plane and observe whether common roc is there or not now try to plot it on s plane roc try s plane no no common or both no common or both is not there okay okay no so here listen here now explain i am taking and what is the here imaginary part of s and here it is real part of s now observe this how many poles we have here Pole values, poles s equal to minus a, 
is equal to minus b that means real part of s because imaginary parts not there minus a plus j b like that imaginary part is not there only real part of s value is real poles are there so minus a minus b a and b are constants and nothing is given here whether a is greater than b or a is less than b so definitely we have to take two cases here because we don't know minus a may be here then what about minus b whether this side or this side we don't know right so that's why here two cases will be there so this is a case one that means what i am taking here minus a value is greater than minus b okay ante kada right side kundi ante minus a is the highest value minus b is the lowest value so minus a is greater than minus b that is the first case i am taking because i don't have we don't have any clarity here whether a is a highest quantity number or b is positive number so that's why let us take this case these are the two in second four. case there is common rvc okay so now try to draw the rvc What, what what is the first we have real part of s greater than minus a greater than minus a means this side and next to what is the next roc we have real part of s is less than minus b less than means this side is there any common roc no common roc right no common roc hence laplace transform does not exist that is our conclusion in this case okay so now let us try to plot the second case case 2 what is our second case minus a is less than minus b now let us take uh, one more explain and try to draw it again once again you represent all the poles minus a is less than minus b means minus a will be here minus b will be here two poles yeah now take the rocs first what is the roc first condition we have on roc real part of s greater than minus a greater means right side obviously next next what is the next roc concept we have less than minus b less than minus b means this side now there is common roc right where is the common roc now in between in between so laplace transform exist in this case laplace transform is existing only in this case for the given problem and what is that corresponding laplace transform x of s equal to 2s plus a plus b divided by s plus a into s plus b and then mention corresponding roc what is the roc we have minus a is less than real part of s is less than minus b this is the roc roc is important if this roc is there common roc if this is the roc then only this is corresponding laplace transform for the given problem so in this case whenever minus a is greater than minus b there is no common roc hence laplace transform does not exist clear so this is a combination causal plus anti causal any doubt in this while calculating inverse laplace transform definitely uh, i mean if this function is given simply 2s plus a plus b by s plus a find out inverse laplace transform roc must be given otherwise we cannot find inverse laplace transform if roc is not given means you have to take assume all the cases 
of roc so whether roc is in between two poles or beyond the poles like that we have to take all the cases and write the statement whether inverse laplace transform exists or not clear so definitely while doing inverse laplace transform problem roc will be generally given in the problem itself so if roc is this is given in the problem find inverse laplace transform please listen here carefully find inverse laplace transform for x of s p equal to 2s plus a plus b by s plus a s plus b where roc is real part of s greater than minus a and real part of s less than minus b and minus a greater than minus b is mentioned means we cannot find inverse laplace transform common roc is not there that given function is not valid like that statement you have to write similarly if minus a less than minus b is mentioned means this is a corresponding inverse laplace transform like that hope you have understood and clearing the content on the board any doubt still any more doubts do you want me to repeat any step or any point shall i go for next topic quick yes ma'am okay puja take screenshots ma'am one minute share chat tarvata okay then next so till now total how many cases we consider causal anti causal causal plus causal anti causal plus anti causal non causal nothing but causal plus anti causal so as i have mentioned uh, other names also left sided right sided like that some other names are also there based on this based on this we are going to write properties now okay properties please write this put the heading properties of roc properties of region of convergence properties of region of convergence okay vikrant are you there properties of region of convergence first property write down important property vamshi ROC does not contain any pole. So ROC does not contain any pole. Important property because till now we have seen that ROC is either greater than pole or less than pole, but equality is not there because one by s plus a into s plus b. If I substitute pole value here, that is one by zero. Infinity will be there. so definitely your roc should not contain any pole it must be either greater than or less than pole value but it should not include your pole values in the region of convergence that is a first property important repeated question this is first property roc does not contain any pole next next property if the if the signal is right on if the signal is a causal the signal is a causal the signal is a causal what is the other name for causal signal right sided signal if the signal is a causal or right sided signal the signal is a causal or right sided signal then the roc is then the roc is the roc is greater than its pole then the roc is greater than its pole i'm repeating if the signal is a causal or right sided signal then the roc is greater than its pole that is real part of s is greater than pole value for each property we have seen one example first solving the problems only we are do, making all these conclusions on properties of roc okay third one if the signal is a if the signal is a anti causal signal anti causal what is the other name for anti causal left sided or negative sided if the signal is a anti causal signal then the roc is roc is then the roc is 
less than its tone. ROC is nothing but real part of S, isn't it? ROC is less than its tone. Okay. Next. Next property. Next. If the signal is a sum of, if the signal is a sum of, if the signal is a sum of two causal signals, if the signal is a sum of two causal signals, then the ROC is then the ROC is then the ROC is greater than maximum of pole values. Then the ROC is ROC is greater than maximum of pole values. Then the ROC is greater than maximum. Real part of S is nothing but ROC. Okay. I am repeating, if the signal is a sum of two causal signals, then the ROC is greater than maximum of pole values. Maximum of all the pole values. If sum of three causal signals means maximum of three pole values, whatever that maximum pole is there, your ROC is greater than that pole, maximum pole. Okay. So that is real part of S is greater than maximum of two poles. What about this? Because... I have mentioned here only two causal signals. In P in mute mode, who is that? Real part of S is greater than maximum two poles. Next property. If the signal is a combination of, next, if the signal is a combination of two anti causal signals, if the signal is a combination of two anti causal signals, then what is the ROC? If the signal is a combination of two anti-causal signals, then the ROC is? Minimum of maximum. Yes. ROC is less than, less than minimum of all the pole values. So two signals means minimum of two poles will be there. Or simply we write ROC is less than, ROC is less than, Minimum of pole values, all poles. If the signal is a sum of two anti causal signals, then the ROC is less than minimum of all the pole values. That is real part of S, nothing but your ROC only, less than minimum of poles. Two anti causal signals means two poles will be there. So I'm writing two poles, that's it, or minimum of all the poles. Next. Last one. Next property. Last one. Right on. If the signal is a combination of, if the signal is a combination of, if the signal is a combination of causal and anti-causal signals, if the signal is a combination of causal and anti-causal signals, then there exist two cases. Then there exist two cases. Puja, take screenshots, ma, participants. If the signal is a combination of causal and anti-causal signals, then there exist two cases. Case one. Right on. Case one. Under case one, put the heading. Then there exist two cases. Case one. If the pole of the causal signal, if the pole of the causal signal, if the pole of the causal signal is less than the, is less than the, if the case one, I'm Explaining if the pole of the causal signal is less than the pole of the anti causal signal, anti causal signal, then the ROC is, then the ROC is, 
causal signal pole less than real. Now we are generalizing that property, whatever problem we have solved, anti-causal signal pole. Case one, I am repeating, if the pole of the causal signal is less than the pole of the anti-causal signal, then the ROC is causal signal pole less than, real part of S less than, anti-causal signal pole. Similarly, in case two, if the pole of the causal signal is greater than anti-causal signal pole, if the pole of the causal signal is greater than the pole of the anti-causal signal, then there is no common ROC, isn't it? Then there is no common ROC. Hence, Laplace transform does not exist. Hence, Laplace transform does not exist. Second case, I am repeating. If the pole of the 